Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Harp Realtors. Well, today I'm back in Cibolo, Texas in the community of Falcon Ridge. I really do love this community. The uh, pool for this community is just a two minute drive and a 10 minute walk from here. So if you want to have a community with a pool in it, hey, you got to check this place out. Anyways, the house behind me is a house one of my out of state clients is interested in. We did a tour of it earlier today but I told him I'll do a video tour of it afterwards just so they really think about it. Anyways, this is a pre-existing home that was built in 2003, it's a little bit older, but it's uh, 2,300 square feet built by Continental Builder. All right, let's go check it out. All right, per the listing agent, the roof was just replaced about five years ago and so was the air conditioning so that shouldn't be a big concern lots of nice trees in this neighborhood and i already mentioned the pool that's just right down the road from us here um very very centrally located to everything in the search Cibolo area we're kind of just pretty close to uh Cibolo valley drive and also 3009 if you go up just zigzag a little bit and you're on 3009 all right, let's go and head in, head on inside. This is a corner lot house. Lot size is 0.179 acres. But yeah, let's go check this place out. A little bit of a different entryway. Coming in. So, uh, yeah, lots, lots of living space. Like I said, you got over 2,300 square feet all on one floor sorry about the camera shaking so that's going to give you lots of space in here versus the same square footage which another house my clients considering but it's two stories so it's a pretty dramatic difference you have this big giant space here uh they did just replace the carpet in here uh but this could be used as a dining room area just judging by that light or you could get rid of that light and just do whatever you want with this space cool little office area just going through these French doors. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty big size office if you wanted to use this space for that. And that door goes out into the hallway. Let's check out this kitchen first. All right, don't freak out because yes, remember this house is built in 2003. So there's definitely some upgrades that needed. <clears throat> I would recommend making this into a granite countertop this is san antonio there's lots of granite stores hell we even got a place called granite row in san antonio so do not go buy your granite from lowe's or home depot shop around there's a lot of places but replacing that would be a great opportunity to get rid of this dreaded 50 50 sink that's uh top side so you can go get a different sink in here granite and that will change this kitchen up a lot and yeah maybe a little more updated appliances but there's a lot of potential in this house a good size kitchen uh, just needs a little bit of updating so uh, yeah that, that's something to consider uh, this would be your former your breakfast nook area formal dining if you didn't want to use that front room there as part of your dining room Lots of light in this house if you opened up the blinds. This would be your other main living space. So lots and lots of living spaces. Uh, my clients are coming in from Germany. So of course, if you lived in Germany for a long time, you probably bought a big giant shrunk. And of course they did. If you don't want that is big wooden uh, piece of furniture that you can use to store electronics and all that stuff. But they might be able to put it up in that front space or they might be able to put it here or maybe even between these two windows so lots of potential for that let's go check out the backyard all right comparing the other house pre-existing house that they are i did a video tour of that they're considering this is a much flatter yard about the same size back patio as the other one they are considering but uh, this is a corner lot, so they do have a little gate on the side. So who knows, down the road, if you had a trailer or a boat or something, you could open up that gate and slide it on back in here. Fence looks in really phenomenal shape. The sun sets, well, actually it's, uh, it's a little after 5 p.m. right now. So the sun's starting to creep down over here. 
You can see the shadows going, but that's why they got this curtain here. So that just they can pull that curtain and still be able to use this back patio. A really nicely done house. For a house that's this age, it looks really, really nice. Like you said, just recently redid, redid the roof. It's like they freshly painted everything. It's really nice. All right, let me show you something that jumps out at me as a realtor and as a potential issue to my client that uh, I wanna point out to you. This room here, not that it's a pass-through, but, and the fact that this is also a lawn, uh, pantry, you got your pantry on this side, laundry room on this side. Now here's our dilemma. Um, my client des desperately wants to put a water softener in. This isn't plumb for water softener, but I'm sure a plumber could figure something out. But <clears throat> where are we gonna put the water softener? Uh, I mean, you could try to slide the washer all the way over, the dryer all the way over, and then try to squeeze water softener in there. It's possible, but it just could be a tight fit. And then uh, figure out where we'd have to plug that water softener in at, if there's a softener needed plugged in. But the water heater itself looks really, really great. It's in good shape. Uh, just passing through here, I'm gonna kind of show you reference where we're at. This is that front room. It's that little office door that I showed you was there. But while we're here, let's go and look at the garage. All right. I like to put the little insulation there on the garage because yeah, it does get pretty warm, but kind of a standard two car garage, nothing fancy about it. Um, heater. Uh, and their AC box is in that corner there. But coming down this hallway, you have your kind of public bathroom or kids bathroom. So shower tub combination there. I'm just trying to think if I saw a powder room somewhere up front and I did not. Two bedrooms on this side. Kind of sliding closets. And kind of a mirrored bedroom on this side. Closet's a little bit different, but not much. A little coat closet there. Coming into the master bedroom. Really good sized bedroom. This thing's pretty big. Big window right there, and hold on to your butts. Oh, we got carpet in the bathroom. And yes, it's new carpet in the bathroom, but that can be easily changed out. That light fixture, yes, that's dated as well. Once again, easy fix. The countertop is a bit low. Uh, I have a house built similar time frame. Yes, I had to pull my countertop out, go to Lowe's and bought new cabinets and Got a nice piece of granite and raised everything up. But it does have a good size soaking tub, good size shower, and a very good size closet. So this closet goes around, and in this price point, that's a really nice size closet. Remember, we're at the around 330, I believe, for this house. I'll look at my cheat sheet in a second. And water closet with a door. Going back out, we're gonna cut through the, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna cut through that again. We're gonna go all the way up around the house. Or the office. One big giant living space. Could be a dining room space if you wanted to. An old kitchen that needs a little updating. Asking price is, oh, 325. See, glad I checked. All 
All right, that's gonna be it, it for the tour of this house built 2003 in the Falcon Ridge community of Cibolo, Texas. Love the community, so centrally located. Uh, this house is a, a really good sized house, just over 2,300 square feet, all on one floor. So uh, hopefully my clients can look at this video really make a good decision on which house they want to go with maybe even share it with their friends and family because that's what i like to do as a real estate agent i don't want to do a quick flyby if something's really of your interest i'll come out and do a little video later on that day just so you can really think about it before you make that big decision anyways if you're looking for a real estate agent that does these i'm happy to help just reach out to me my phone number is going to be on the final slide so feel free to do that and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.